Hey, it's me, Critzy. Merry Christmas. That's, uh, that's how long. That's how long it's been. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, that's, that's how long, uh, October last. It's, it lasts until Christmas. That's... Welcome back to Outlast. Now, I took, like, a week-long break in recording and stuff, just because, I don't know, I was starting to, like, really slow down in my uploading, and I decided to just give up for a little bit. Pick it back up once I've had a little break. Uh, I really wish I, I said something about it. I, I wish I, you know, made a video saying, hey, I need a little break, but... Uh, whatever. Oh, welcome back to 2 a.m. Outlast. That's... I've actually had a little while to stop being numb to horror, so... I'm gonna get a little spooked. Oh, Jesus. Alright, yep, there we are. I can't remember the, uh, I, I had, like, this instinct down to run in a certain direction, and I just, it's completely gone. <sighs> just taking a sip of my coffee. Right. We got the man over there, right? <clears throat> the scary guy. Oh, another thing. Um. Yeah, one of you guys got me headphones for Christmas. So I can hear a lot better now. Although I might have to redo the sound. Um. Because they do sound a little different. Okay, let's see if I still have the instinct to run the right way. Nope, nope. That did not have the instinct to do it right. Okay, well, I'm hiding now. Alright, sure. Yeah. Didn't mean to hide, but I am. There, there he is. Welcome back! I've missed you, my beloved guest! You know, I, I think actually I, I can sneak while he's over there, right? Nope. Should not have done that. Oh, jeez. Re really? Are... Yeah, there he is. Yep, yeah, sure is. Yeah, sure is. Oh, I don't. There's no restart from checkpoint. Oh, there we go. Got to remember the whole thing all over again. The mechanics and everything. Buddy, hey! Just sprint on through. Kick. No, no kick. Hey, bud, wake up. Yeah, I did not. I was too, too fast. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't know. This one just hits different, you know, because you can, like, bum rush him. Right. Okay, so s sweep on in here. That guy starts screaming. Or or not. Buddy? Sure. Yeah, sprint at me in here. Hello? Kick. Go oh, fuck. Yep, he's right on me, isn't he? Oh, fuck! I don't know where I'm going! Shit! Hop, hop, hop! 
Oh, fuck! Oh, that one got me. Oh, that one got me. Oh, I wasn't recording that. Shucks. Oh, my heart. That one got me. It's not over, though, is it? Of course not. It ends right over here. <sighs> yeah, of course it would. Of course it would. Do I get a checkpoint? Is that running water I hear? Vampire. Oh, wow, there wasn't a jump scare in here at all. That's what I was expecting. What's this? What's this lore, huh? <coughs> David and to whom it may concern, this is my third time asking for a reassignment after two months without an answer. I don't want to work at Mount Massive anymore. I've... have... I have been an orderly my entire adult life, but have never experienced such a consistent level of secrecy and disrespect. I even have suspicions that some of the patients may be being abused. May? May be being abused. They might be? <clears throat> I know personally two of them who have been moved to the basement ward and never returned. If I don't get an answer from this email, I will be forced to resign, and I may very well consider contacting the press. Thank you for your time. Yes, sir, and I'm assuming that's how I got here. Really dropped the ball on that one, huh? Well, let's, uh, let's remember the name David, yeah? The Whistleblower. <clears throat> um, from someone or other from Mute Mail, and, no, nope, did not get a name there. Wait, hang on, what was that? Objective, reach the ground floor. That's it. Really humble goal. Can this please be another quiet section? I don't want to do another chase, please. Buddy! You gonna jump around a corner now? Gonna scream buddy at me? Not seeing any of his patience here. I don't want to mess with that door. He's gonna kick down a door and scream, buddy! Once upon a time, that, that effect would have really impressed me. Like, figure back in, like, Half-Life 2 days. Man, I remember Half-Life 2 being the bomb. Beautiful. I remember being impressed with Oblivion's graphics, man. Hey, right, here goes. Just fucking peek a little bit. I hear footsteps, but I'm not sure if those are fake footsteps or real footsteps. Or real fake footsteps. I think I remember that door. Should have been paying closer attention to the layout of the hospital. Do I know this place? Oh! Wonder what's gonna happen. Before I get in there, there's the nearest hiding place. Back there. Right, and this... Any way to get through? No. Oh, these, uh, you know, these flimsy tin beds? Can't get past them. Can't get through them. 
Okay, so they're giving me some time to think. <clears throat> so let's think. There's... Uh, there's, there's Christian men here? I don't think this is a very Christian establishment. Now don't... Now, don't get me wrong, there's some weird stuff goes on in religious establishments sometimes, but I don't think psionic research is really covered in the weird stuff. I just don't... I just... it just doesn't... It's just not their style, you know? They do other weird stuff. Okay, um... Oh, God, the glare. They... clean... Yep, I can't can't read the uh, hospital yearbook. My guy's not hyperventilating. Open? Nope. Am I expected to like go out this window or? Okay. There's the key to unlock the elevator. You would think he would... Oh! Oh, I gotta go back? Is that it? I know something bad's about to happen as soon as I, as soon as I get this. And it's gonna be scary the first time, but it's gonna get exhausting. Yeah! Fucking of course! No! Stop crouching, idiot! Oh, Jesus Christ. Get under a bed. No? Or, I don't know, maybe not? Yeah, get under a bed, because I don't know where I've, I've come to. Why is he breaking down the door? Exactly? Oh, you know, I bet I gotta get past him. Yeah, get behind him. Buddy! Yeah, don't look under here. You know, I found out that this is a flashlight on top of here. This is a flashlight. So I'm blinking a flashlight at him. And he's just gonna not happen to not look under the one that I'm actually under. Right? Right? Like, he can't do that, right? Right. Buddy! I went past this room. I went in a different room. I can't actually remember... ...how much leeway you get with sneaking past him. Like, I know here definitely not safe. Yeah, my, my hand's fine. By the way, thanks for asking. No longer in pain. I'm not shaking or anything. Sneak. Where is he? He's over there. Small problem. There's light by the door. And I'm not sure where to hide once I get over there. Or if I have to, like, run. Do I have to run? Oh. As far as I know, this is the only room with hiding places. Buddy! He's not mumbling to himself anymore. There's a room over there? Oh wait, I think that's the room I came in through. Calm, 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 run. Hop. Uh, fuck. Elevator. Elevator. Where? 
where elevator? Um, through here. Oh, oh yeah. How'd you get down there? That really been... It'd take a lot longer for him to die from that. Oh, I wasn't recording. Oops. Yeah, I mean, like, that that would cause some significant damage, but I don't think he'd just, like, die. Just, like, can I just... Huh? Alright, so what was the note? <laughs> no. Hmm? Reach the ground floor. Yep. Yeah. Notes. Uh, Dr. Rick Traeger. Sick fucker cut my fingers off. Has tortured and mangled dozens of patients. I watch him murder another one. Nothing I can do about it. Doc's like a white-collar business school douchebag. Probably has a set of golf clubs in the trunk of his Audi. I bet the rest of my... I bet the rest of my fingers. He was Murkoff Brass, or whatever's infected this place. has changed him. Uh, whatever. I want out of this place. I want my fucking fingers back. I want to see Traeger die, and then... <laughs> how to make Traeger juice. Step one. Squeeze. Glad to see you're, you're like, really doing good in this place. Yep, ah, of course. It's right there, right inside. I want to get it, I want to get out of here, but... Eh, of course, what's the only option? Up there. Can't stick my arm in there and, like, pry this open or anything. Nah. I don't want to get Traeger juice on me. Gross. A, a cool spin. Okay, whatever. At least there isn't a lunatic in there anymore. Ah, who am I kidding? Immediately gonna throw me into another sequence, aren't you? Uh, have I been here yet? Running water. Gas. Wow. Getting into the high society parts of the horrible asylum. How about we go up instead? I feel like going up. Yeah? How about you? Squeeze through. There we go. Well, the objective is to go down, so let's go up. Ah, of course not. Oof. Ah. <sighs> Wait a minute. There's no way for this room to have ever been illuminated. There's no gaslight or anything. Who is gonna say hello to me at the bottom stairs? Oh, a squeezy hole. I... Bet I know what's gonna happen there. It's gonna be a guy. I'm gonna have to... Who's, it's gonna be too big to get through squeezy holes, right? That's his whole thing. He's, he's big. He's got chains. Oh, Team Player Award. Patrick Paterna. Paterna. Pa pa okay. Employee of Murkoff, who best exemplifies team concepts. Anything uh, good? Right. Wait, is this a wall? Okay, thought this was like a security kiosk or something. Alright, let's just, uh, yeah. We're just gonna open the door. Something scary?
something scary happened here once. Why the music cue? Not a good that door did ya. Good thing you locked it. There's no hiding place anywhere. There's no way there's anything spooky in here. Oh, it's a... Okay, good. It's a story segment. Can you please, like, talk Thank to me? God you survived. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. Really? We're close now. All right. Can we, can, why don't you just stay here? We can talk a little bit. <sighs> Can you at least give me a flashlight so I don't have to use up all my batteries? I don't like this. Uh, I don't like this at all. Um, notes. Nope. Oh, God, I don't like it. We're talking like... Wide open tunnels. It's pretty much the sewer, but... <sighs> you know... In this day and age, in this in this uh, in this situation, you got limited um, uh, limited choices for firewood. You got paranormal music going on. And it's like either you start you either start burning books or you start burning your friends. Now Books are temporary. Books... They don't burn very long. That's, that's what I'm saying, you know. But friendship is forever. Uh-huh. Lockers. Are those lockers I can hide in? Please tell me no, because... If they are, that means I'm gonna have to hide from... So they are, they are the kinds of lockers I can hide in. Friend? Wait, were those my footsteps that I just jumped into a locker over? Good thing I wasn't recording that. My guy doesn't react to corpses anymore, by the way. Oh, lore? <clears throat> Two P. Walsh from uh, Anap uh, Subject An Anapurna. Employee. Mr. Walsh, please accept the immediate resignation of Orderly 53192 David Annapurna and process him as a patient of Mount Massive to treat his persecutorial delusions. Treatment should continue until the time of his deaths. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Rick Traeger. Okay, so. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Have I heard his name before, though? Big fucking guy. This big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex-military police. Yeah, alright, I was thinking maybe maybe David was the guy, but I guess not. Wall Rider. Project Wall Rider. Total security. I ain't, I can't shake Chris Walker, the big ugly fucker who likes ripping off people's heads. <laughs> it's a gauze. Oh, jeez. I've created a trail. You know what? Maybe they'll think I vanished over there if they're tracking me. The old, the old, give them the old slip.
Oh yeah, lockers. Yep. Hello. Where's the antagonist? Hmm? I see. It's a man swinging from the rafters. I felt a tiny twinge of fear. Don't like the batteries going down. Can't get up there. <clears throat> Feel like I'm going to get up there. I'm just really feeling like this is the way that I'm going to want to go. You know, I've made a lot of bad calls in my life, but... Right now, I'm feeling like this is a pretty low point. Huh? Yeah, you know, right now I'm feeling like the number of bad calls I've made pales in comparison to how bad the call I just made was. But, you know, I'm fine. This is fine. Everything's cool. Smoke inhalation, no problem. I had to burn it. All of it. Murkoff took so much from us. Yeah. Used us. Turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. Uh-huh. So let it burn. Sure. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get out. What a chill dude. Extinguish the fire. Why would I want to? Why are you telling me to do that? Let it burn. I'm not the only victim here, not by a long shot. I watch a man wait to burn to death, the most painful death imaginable, rather than stay in this place. Okay, why, why, do, why do I want to n not let him do that? I mean, he's telling me I can go. I mean, like, all I gotta do is, like, move some debris out. What's the fire? The cool fire maze. Ah. I see. I'm gonna disrespect this man's dying wish. Can't I just, like, pour a little water on it or something? Also, this definitely isn't safe. This room's gonna fill with smoke, man. to death who are these guys you kill them or are they just incidentally here okay so crouch jump jump over there yeah okay so how am I gonna get a, I, I get the feeling I'm gonna turn off the fire this guy's gonna be pretty angry about it you know because he's trying to have a moment here, and I'm going to get him all wet. I don't know what that device is. I saw it in uh, Call of Cthulhu too. I don't know what that is. Is that something to do with laundry or... That's uh, cafeteria laundry, yep.
cool. Hiding space. There's no water in the system. Got it. Turn on the two valves, yeah? Okay, so there's a hiding place. Sweet. Alright, so... Fuck. Who was that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Yeah. I didn't need to jump in here immediately. Ugh. Hmm, my mouth. Burned it earlier. No, we're not- we don't got a- we don't got a note about Mr. Chain. It's like a bad YouTube series, dude. Well, I mean, this is a bad YouTube series, but... Like... Hiding at 3 a.m. in the abandoned asylum... Laundry room. Hiding at 3 a.m. from the crazy asylum doctor. OMG! Chain guy wants to kill me! Kidnapped by crazy abandoned asylum doctor. I probably don't need to be in here, do I? What's he hitting? Exactly. I, just, I don't know his pattern yet, you know? So I'm irrationally spooked. I don't even hear him anymore. Yeah, right. Let's make, let's make some mistakes. Okay. Smell him. Ah, oh, Jesus, he smells me. He's gonna find me because I'm not moving fast enough. There he is. Is he gonna turn? He's gonna look. Game over. Yep, here he comes. Book it, book it! Excuse me! Ah, oh, fuck. Might have not schmooved fast enough. Oh, fuck, I schmooved wrong. I schmooved bad. Oh, Jesus. Oh! There he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three more minutes of this, huh? Antagonist time. Found the new antagonal. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Time to try again. <clears throat> Antagonist man. Okay, so, uh... In the future, if I'm running through here, I, I run over there, right? Yeah, that's... Don't run in the other direction. Okay? Yeah. Yep. And I go around the corner. The man schmoove? Or is he just not spawned in yet, hmm? Okay. 
because I believe he's supposed to be hanging out in corpse stockpile number 75, right? And goodness knows neither of us can get over that pile of furniture. It's an effective obstacle. Yep, he is coming this way. So I am going to want to hide. Just pay attention to his chains. Mm-hmm. Is he going back? Can't tell. Stop breathing. I mean, to be fair, he's breathing just as loud. But, like, his face is broken, so... That's his excuse. My excuse, I don't know. I think it might be chill now. Yeah, we're good. You can hear him taking out his frustrations. this way. I don't see hear him chaining around. Oh, now I do. There he comes. There he comes. He's he comes. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way, motherfucker. And here he come. He turned this way. He do. He do turn this way. Fuck. Okay. Cool. 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 Get past. Sh move. Faster. Move. Zoom. Hide. 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 Hiding place. Hiding place. Hiding place. Where? Where's the hiding place? Fuck. Kick down the door. Please. Hiding place. Hiding place. Hiding place. Ah. Oh, I should have activated the thing first. Damn it. Now I gotta wait for him to go mysteriously poke his nose around and then go. Not in this one, no. Watch how stupid this guy is. Watch how stupid this idiot's gonna be. I'm about to go. I'm about to activate this this lever in this room that he just left. No, oh, he's coming back. No. No, he isn't. He's leaving. I'm gonna activate this lever in the room that he just left and immediately get back into the locker, the one that he didn't check, and he's still not gonna- he's still not gonna know where I am. And this is why I was saying I should have activated it before. Because now I gotta wait for him to come investigate all over again. Yo, know, another one of these segments. This is- the, what, fifth time we've had one of these segments in this game where I gotta activate the two sacred levers? And hide in a closet? Yo, know, these people-sized closets. How does he keep getting away from me? Oh, this man, he's an elusive shadow. 
No man I have ever seen to move with such stealth. How does he keep getting around me? <coughs> I check a locker. Mathematically, it's impossible that I would check a locker and every time it just happens to not be the one that he's in. There's literally a 50-50 chance in every room that he checks the s correct locker. And he never does. He never does. Oh, I got distracted talking. Now I gotta fucking wait again because he's getting close again. Yep. I hear him. Yep. Okay, can I get out now? We good? in the other direction, huh? Here comes a chain man. Yeah, he do. Hope you don't check around this corner. That would suck. He go? Oh, don't uncrouch yet. <laughs> cool. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Oh, this ain't the right space, is it? God damn it. Oh, well, let's find a hiding place in here. Yep, there it is. I don't even think I need to hide yet. I just, I messed up my schmoovin'. Now I know that there's a hiding place here. Where is he? Hmm? Where's his chains? He seems to walk in a clockwise motion around the whatever office that is. I wish there was like a peaceful mode that you could explore all the environments in. <sighs> but, you know, and then it wouldn't, wouldn't be scary if you could just look around the environments. But, you know, like maybe like after the game, you could look at it or something. I hear him. Mm. Oh, for the love of God. Uh -huh. I could just as easily just pause the video and you wouldn't miss anything. <clears throat> the man is so slow. You would think he would run out of places to check for me. Read a book while this is going on. Is he just not going to? Did I get his path wrong? Have I been hiding in this locker for no reason? Maybe. Might be safe to take a peek.
There he is. Calm. Can you please come this way now so that I can sneak past you? Thank God. I don't know if I missed a trigger or something or or what. What? What? You leaving? Still in the room. Don't sound like it. Here he come, right? Which way? There he come. I should have. I should have taken more risks. I should have. Ran down there. Because he, he's in there for a while. Jesus. Around that. Cool. Oh. I have schmoved. Never mind, I haven't. Hey, guy. What are you up to? Hush, boy. You'll have your turn. You clean your belly, clean your arms. Oh, I wish I finished reading that. He seems like he's a... Oh, he's being a cool guy. You want an interview real quick while I'm here? No complaining now. We have to wash every little part. Poor guy. Poor guy. At least his delirium is a is a pleasant one. You know, something's clearly not not okay. Something's clearly not chill with that. But you know, at least he's uh, he's in a pleasant fantasy. No, not yet, you idiot, you buffoon. You gather data first. Mostly, I just don't want to... I don't want to deal with this again if I fucking fail. Oh, I can just sprint back here if he gives me trouble, so... There's that. I literally can't be reached here, so... One second. Sorry, somebody sent me a question. I had to read. <clears throat> Alright, sure, I guess... Guess you weren't jumping the gun too much. Where is the man, huh? Where's the man? Where is he? Can I, can I not move this? Can I not turn this off? Move it, unplug it, you know, anything. 
This is clearly a security hazard for me. That one's off. They can be turned off. They can be broken. And yet, I refuse. I give. I like giving myself a challenge. There he is. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do about it? Ha! <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, shit. You would think I got out of there, huh? Hmm. It's karma. Yeah? Oh my god, you're lighting! Dude, are you okay? Holy shit, what's going on with you? I've never seen anyone have artifacting that severe. Do you need to see a doctor? Holy cow, man. Yeah, don't notice my shadow or anything. We're, we're fine. Fine. And, uh, no. Turn them sprinkles on. Moist. Let's add water damage to the smoke damage. I probably didn't need to hide in here. Yeah, I could have just run. Yeah, there's a... Right here. Oops. Dummy. Hey, friend, sorry for ruining your arts and crafts project. It's it's complicated. I needed to get through here. You you were fine with me getting through here, but you didn't provide me with a means to do so, you know? Maybe he, maybe he fucking died. Are we going to have, like, a crazy chef going thing in here, too? Let's just shut this. I don't like how light it is in here. Bright. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, sure. No, chill, man. Oh, my God. Ah. Yeah. 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 Crazy chef time. Butcherman. A note, you say. My fingies? I've said it before, but fuck this place. I've still got those fingers left. Okay, because what? I got jump scared or... Oh. Oh, it's some fingies. Yeah. And microwave us up some fingies. No hiding place so far. Store room. I don't think this counts as a hiding place. Is it just flavor or I'm just wasting batteries? Yeah. yeah. All right. Not chill. Is too good to be true. Impossible. Nay. It isn't so. That's just the wind. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, MK Ultra program? Yeah. Special Research Bluebird. 
One general problem, for the past several months, Bluebird has been endeavoring to ascertain by research, study, instruction, and some practice what value, if any, can be derived from SI sleep induction and H hypnotic techniques. Why are you telling me that? Wouldn't If this is like industry jargon, wouldn't everyone already know that? Techniques applied to our war and specific agency programs. Uh, three, can we create by post-H control, post, uh, post-hypnotic post control, an action contrary to an individual's base moral principles? Uh, seven, can we guarantee total amnesia under any and all conditions? Eight, can we alter a person's personality? How long will it last? Seventeen, what are full details on a sleep-inducing machine? Ah, coffee. There's never any lore in danger sections, right? Uh, have I gone to the basement yet? Yeah, I've gone down to the basement a little bit, but they, like, implied that there's, like, they black bag people down there, and I didn't encounter any such thing. Jeez, I keep getting baited by the buttons on computers. <clears throat> oh! Mayhap I can explore the path that crazy wheelchairman took me on. Nope, not through there. Through there, was it? Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, I get... Mm, was it through... Th where, did, where did he... Was it through there? Was it through here? Where... What's the path he took me on? Definitely not there. Was it through the kitchen? Ah, whatever. Let's go meet scary guy. Chill. Hey friend. Is that you? It isn't, is it? It's it's I'm getting Baited again. Father. Please. Yeah, I got baited. Interesting. I'm out of batteries. Oh, well, I got this at least. I don't even know your name, but I've come to think of you as one of my blood, my Paul. I don't think... I hope you don't mind. And I hope you don't indulge in the vanity of self-pity, the fear of your that your suffering is more than others'. We all must endure this, and you are nearly done. There is no way to heaven but by the cross, and every man needs another to help drive the nails in. I am here for you. I am awaiting ahead. Ahead? Like, cause like, I, I tried. Yeah, it, it ain't working. There's uh, stairs over here? Yeah, there's stairs over here. Door, but no way in. Whence is he waiting? <laughs> what in the world?
It's fine. It's just some like really high level psychic just having a having a, a nice time in the middle of the night. Can you give me like some? Yeah, that's not. I don't want to pick that up. I don't want it. I don't want it. Well, I have it. Gotta get going, though, right? Yeah, I gotta get going. I'll see you later.